Hi everybody, I'm Matt Gash with SoundersFC.com here at PPL Park in Chester, Pennsylvania alongside the voice of the Sounders FC, Arlo White. And Arlo, tough way to get back under the MLS schedule. Yes, it was, wasn't it? Um, at halftime, leading by a goal to nil, albeit against the run of play, uh, through a great finish by Pat Noonan, his first goal in Major League Soccer, and, and nice for the Sounders to score the first goal ever in PPL Park as well. Um, it kind of came out of nothing, didn't it? A, a run by uh, Zakawani, a ball into Montero. It was just a bit too strong for him, but Montero's deflection uh, gave it to, to Noonan, who, who finished it very well. And you thought at halftime, well, that's a real boost. It's happened on the road before this season against the run of play. I'm thinking of Zakawani. Zakawani's goal against FC Dallas and it ended 2-2. I'm thinking of Zakawani's goal at Rio Tinto against Real Salt Lake. We're, we're a funny road team, aren't we? Um, we can be resilient and then catch teams on the break. Um, the second half, um, my immediate thought about the, the, the equaliser or the penalty incident was that it was another dive by Moreno who had been flinging himself to ground the whole game. Albeit Ironically, right, considering what the coach of this team has said about how he preaches proper football and not diving and going down easy, right? Yes, yeah, how, yes, and uh, exactly. The criticism but from Novak to, to Lundberg um, after the first game of the season. You're absolutely right, Matt. Um, but it was a penalty. It was just one of those situations where Tyrone was going to clear the ball and Moreno just stepped in. So instead of kicking the ball, he kicked his leg. And it was, it was a penalty. Sebastian Latou, who was brilliant all afternoon, put it right in the top corner. Uh, but back came the Sounders again. It was a super move that led to the penalty. Um, a chest by Lundberg. Zakawani threw to Montero. Uh, brought down, was he? Um, I'm not entirely sure, but yeah. <laughs> you know, the penalty was given. And, and Pat with the opportunity to double double his goals tally. He drove it low, he drove it true, but it was, but Sainz guessed correctly, albeit he was two and a half yards off his line, but right. ref, uh, goalkeepers rarely get done for that. Uh, and he smothered the ball. And from then on, it was all Philadelphia, wasn't it? Nate Jaquan made his debut today. Talk about what you saw from him from his 2010 debut with the Sounders. I thought he, um, I thought he did really well. Um, it was just, it was interesting at one point in the second half to look across the line, you know, as you can see here, we can see the field and to see Montero and Jake were up there and it was kind of a soothing sight in a way. And we did go long to Jake quite a bit, but you know, you're chasing the game and that, that's, uh, that's excusable. He's not a, an out and out target, man. There's more to his game than that. He had that opportunity, nice through ball from Montero. He, he just slightly took himself wide with his first touch. And to be fair to Sites, he came off his line like a hair, didn't he? And smothered that ball. Sites had a terrible start to the season for the Union, but he looks like a good goalkeeper um, but great to see um, Nate back uh, we'll see more from him and um, from July the 15th onwards we'll see more from Blaise Kufo as well and, and in some respects this season unless the, unless the management have a, a rabbit that they can draw out of the hat they are the two cards to play between now and the end of the season if, if, if the Sounders are going to make a serious playoff push and it's going to be fascinating to see how Blaise Kufo and Nate Jake will settle into this side. Long term, those are good, good for the Sounders, but immediately, two, tough, two more tough games, they really need to get back on track early, right? Well, they do, and there is separation now starting uh, to form in the Western Conference between the Sounders and the other playoff pretenders. Um, we know the Eastern Conference isn't, a, isn't strong in terms of points on the board compared to the West, uh, but Philadelphia might still do something on the basis of tonight. They've got some real talent in this team. Roger Torres is great to watch. Fred, great to watch. If he wasn't diving, Marino would be great to watch. Latou was excellent. Excellent tonight. And I know Sounders fans, you know... It happened against the Sounders, but I know they wish, it, they wish him well. And he, he didn't gloat in it, did he, when he scored the goal? He's not that sort of character, so, so good for him. Wednesday, Portland. It's the US Open Cup. It's not a priority, but the Sounders are the holders of that tournament. So you don't want to give it up lightly, particularly to, you, to your local rivals. An away game, a tough one. It'd be interesting to see the strength of the side that Ziggy picks for that game. Uh, because you don't want to lose to your local rivals and give them bragging rights. I mean, they already won the preseason friendly at Quest, didn't they? And then we go to LA, to the Home Depot Center, July the 4th. Not a day I care to celebrate, but it's, <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe it's big in these parts. <laughs> uh, I jest, obviously. Um, but you know, they're, they're the table toppers, aren't they? And I, you know, what would be interesting, will Landon Donovan come back in time? Will Edson Buddle come back in time? From a Sounders point of view, I hope not. From a pure wanting to see good players point of view, um, I really hope they are back. But you know, it's tough and it's gonna get tougher. The games are coming thick and fast. Meta Panel on the horizon in the Champions League too. Sounders need to start winning some games. For SoundersFC.com, alongside Arlo White, I'm Mac Ash. We'll see you in Portland for SoundersFC.com.